It's been a month since HBO Max's Fiona and Cake aired their last episode, Cheers. Though I heard there's going to be a second season. And actually, while watching the show, I was already designed to rewatch the entirety of Adventure Time. There were some things in the new series that you get to appreciate better if you watch Adventure Time. But that's like 10 seasons! So, I decided to rewatch only the Fiona and Cake related episodes from the original series. And you know what I've realized? The writers of the show really knew what they were doing. I know that Adventure Time's full of random episodes sometimes, especially during the earlier seasons, but the seemingly randomness of the show really paid off, and we see that in HBO Max's Fiona and Cake. And if you haven't watched all 10 seasons of Adventure Time, but are curious about the episodes that do relate to HBO Max's Fiona and Cake, well, you're in the right video. Hi, I'm Ziddy, and here's Fiona and Cake, Adventure Time episodes that paid off. I mean, it's obvious why this is the first episode I'll be talking about. We first meet Fiona and Cake in Adventure Time Season 3, Episode 9, Fiona and Cake. The first Fiona and Cake episode simply follows the pattern of typical earlier season Adventure Time episodes, where Finn and Jake have to save the princess, most likely Princess Bubblegum, from Ice King. But instead of Finn and Jake, we have Fiona and Cake saving Prince Gumball from the clutches of Ice Cream. The entire episode feels like a fan fiction because the story was, as I would describe it, very season 1 adventure time, just gender bent. And at the end of the adventure, we find out that it is in fact something Ice King made up about Finn and Jake. And since the revelation about being Ice King's gender bent imagination of Finn and Jake, each time Fiona and Cake appear on screen, people just think it's a filler episode. But again, as we see from HBO Max, Adventure Time's introduction to Fiona and Cake really paid off. And now in the second Fiona and Cake episode, the 11th episode of the 5th season of Adventure Time, Bad Little Boy, we get a Marshall Lee-centered episode. I personally enjoy Marceline-centered episodes, and we actually already saw a glimpse of Marshall Lee in Fiona and Cake. But when I watch Bad Little Boy, let me tell you, Marshall Lee quickly became an obsession. I was really, really obsessed with Marshall Lee. I even drew his face on my sketch pad. That's how obsessed I was. And he was voiced by none other than Donald Gloop, aka Childish Gambino. Such a dreamy character. And I'm really glad that Donald came back to grace us with his wonderful voice once again. So this episode begins with Ice King reading his Fiona and Cake fanfiction to his princess prisoners. However, his story is interrupted by the prisoners because his story sucks. Then, Marceline appears and gives her own version of Fiona and Cake. The episode just circles around Fiona and Marshall Lee flirting here and there about how Marshall Lee's a bad boy and Fiona's a good girl but that she still hangs out with him. Bad Little Boy has some songs and has some rap, of course it's Donald Glover, and in the end, has some cute ending. But what I would like to point out is the very end of the episode where we see Ice King praying to a Fiona and Cake figure he obviously created, telling them that he's going to find them, believing that they're real and that they're out there somewhere. And that was something we quickly dismissed because, well, it's Ice King. Okay, so the next two episodes of Fiona and Cake are Season 6, Episode 9, The Prince Who Wanted Everything, an LSP-centered episode, and Season 8, Episode 9, Five Short Tables, which comprises five short stories with tables as its overarching theme. These two episodes don't really have much payoff, I just mentioned them because they're part of the Fiona and Cake universe. Five Short Tables gave us this though. Then who am I talking to? <sighs> so dreamy. <laughs> Until we finally got to Season 9, Episode 12, Fiona and Cake and Fiona. Even though Fiona and Cake and Fiona did not occur in the gender bent universe, this episode unpacked a lot. So in this episode, Ice King was at his Fiona and Cake reading and someone asked him where he got his stories from. Ice King just answered, They're beamed into my melon at night, same as everybody else. Next! Which again, we all quickly dismissed. Because, again, it's Ice King. And then the Fiona who we all thought is made up suddenly appears in real life. When I first saw Fiona, so many questions popped up. 
but I was still skeptical. Of course, I was hoping that Fiona is real. But at the back of my mind, I was thinking, this is adventure time. There's going to be some sort of explanation for this. And I was right. At the end of the episode, Fiona confessed that she's just an old lady who came across Fiona and Kate's adventures. And, you know, she's just looking for more tapes. And we all thought that was it. Until at the very end where we see the red beam that Ice King had mentioned earlier. And then fast forward to Season 10, Episode 13, the very last episode of Adventure Time. The ultimate adventure, Come Along With Me, where Finn and Jake's adventures finally came to a close. And since Adventure Time's end, we never really got to see the explanation for the red beam and for other unanswered questions from the show. Until HBO Max's Fiona and Cake. In HBO Max's Fiona and Cake, we finally get the answer for the red beam. So we find out that Fiona and Cake and everyone in the land of Ah are actually real. They all just live in Ice King's mind. But ever since he was transformed back to Simon, referencing the last episode, Fiona and Cake also became painfully mundane. So back to the Red Beam. We find out that the Red Beam is actually from Prismo, the Wishmaster, who accidentally created a gender-bent version of Finn and Jake. He just put Fiona and Cake's universe in Ice King's empty, messed-up mind. Other episodes that paid off in Fiona and Cake are The Lich, Finn the Human, Jake the Dog, and Crossover. These four episodes surprisingly were part of the Fiona and Cake narrative. In relation to the Lich, we meet Jerry who is actually the Lich who got his wish to end all life. And then from Finn the Human, Jake the Dog, and Crossover, we see what happened to Farm World Finn after losing his powers. So yeah, I guess after saying so much, all I wanted to say is that I'm really fascinated about how the show's seemingly small details and random storylines can turn into a whole new series. I could honestly see the writers just milking Adventure Time and you would be fine with it. There's really a lot of things they could make a show about. There's so many stories to tell. The Mushroom War or the origins of the Lich. Yeah, so I would really watch them. So if you've watched Fiona and Cake but haven't seen the original Adventure Time series, I say go and watch the entirety of Adventure Time. Again, it's a lot. There are a lot of episodes you just have to power through. You know how hard it was to get my sister to start watching and to keep watching Adventure Time? But again, you never know. These silly storylines and random episodes could pay off like it did on Fiona and Cake. So what are you waiting for? It's Adventure Time! Hi guys, so for a couple of weeks, I had like writer's block. I knew that I wanted to write about Fiona and Kate, but I just didn't know what exactly. And you know, I, I, I just, I was really confused, but I'm really glad that um, this video got me. I made this video and yeah, I'm happy with this. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep making more. Anyways, um, do watch Adventure Time, Feel and Cake, and other great series that, yeah. <laughs> so, don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you again next time. Bye!